Uh, April, question for you, and I, I think I know the answer because you're with child, <laughs> but are you are you good about reading food labels when you go to the grocery store? No, but I'm getting better. Okay. I'm getting better. All right. I don't believe you. You strike me as someone, I'm not calling you a liar, but you strike me as someone who's very careful, and I like that about you. I like reading the books about all this stuff that, you know, over the last couple of years. That's why I say I'm getting better, because I'm learning more. Yes, and you're sharing that stuff with us, too, which is great. Another woman who is sharing this information with us, she's actually a chemist. Her name is Dee McCaffrey. She's from Tempe, and she was a chemist when she started noticing just exactly what was in some of the food items she was eating along with the rest of us. And, uh, well, let's just say it wasn't pretty. This is what she looked like. That, these are her words, not ours. But this is what she looked like before she really started paying attention to what was in some of the foods that we all eat. And this is how she looks now. Good morning to you. Good morning, Kaylee. How much weight did you lose by knowing the chemistry of your body? I lost 100 pounds in 13 months. Wow. And, that, and, and basically, it was as simple as respecting how our bodies are designed, the types of foods we're supposed to be eating, and then having a clear path or a plan on how to eat that way. Now before, we don't want to lose you here, because I, mean, I don't know about you, but when we talk about chemistry and the elements, I freak out, okay? I mean, it can be a little overwhelming. It is. But you say it doesn't have to be. No, it doesn't have to be, and I, I, I break down the science into very understandable layman terms in my book, so it's really just more about understanding the value of whole natural foods, foods that are in their closest to natural form as possible. We hear so often about processed foods and to avoid them all together, but what kinds of things are we talking about here? We're talking about foods that have been take, either taken out of their natural state, for instance, you take a raw natural sugar cane, which is actually, actually very nourishing when you eat it in that form, mm -hmm. and then turning it into white sugar, which is devoid of all of the original nutrients that were in the plant, okay. sugar cane plant. And then the same thing with taking wheat and turning it into white flour, you lose all of the nutrients that were originally there. And when we so. eat foods in their natural state, because in this book you talk about some of the uh, super skinny foods that we can be looking out for, they really do taste good. Avocado is one of these foods. Avocado is one of my favorite super skinny foods, and I'll tell you why. It contains not only fiber, but protein, and a very weight loss friendly carbohydrate called menoheptulose, okay. which helps to um, regulate our body's secretion of insulin. And we do now know, because of all of the high fructose corn syrup news and everything, that insulin makes our body store fat. So when we slow down the release of that, our bodies can actually burn it for energy rather than storing it as fat. Give me some of the other goodies that we can be thinking about when we're going to the grocery store. Oh, apples. Apples are amazing. They have the ability to slow down how, um, how, how much blood sugar goes into your body, and then they also help you to move your bowel, and that's a very important thing, moving the bowel regularly. And toxin, um, apples have a way of, of trapping toxins hmm. from our body, so all of the things in our environment, things we put on our hair and skin, um, apples have a way of just absorbing that. Interesting. And, and talk to me about the leafy green. greens because these are so important in the diet yeah, as well. Yeah, leafy greens are probably, I always say you should at least half of your vegetables that you eat every day should be of the dark green leafy type. Mm -hmm. um, because they're green, they have a chemical in them called chlorophyll. And chlorophyll is the, um, the cleansing com compound in all of green, anything green, that allows our body to have energy and also helps to clear out the toxins. It, it's toxins that get trapped in our fat cells that ha have us hold on to fat. Well, there is so, so much we information, need to get rid of it. and we appreciate <laughs> it. If uh, you're locked in on this, like we've been around here, there is a seminar for you. It's called the Science of Skinny webinar, and it's at Sprouts tonight. Kicks off at seven, and uh, if you would like more information on this, we'll put it on our website uh, for you and create a link as well. And then there's a book signing for the Science of Skinny. Dee will be there tomorrow night. That's at Changing Hands Bookstore in Tempe. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. Good stuff.